Welcome back. There we go. Welcome back, everybody, to another edition of the Renatus Jam. I love our intro music. It gets me hopped up every single time. I'm glad to be back with you live. My name is Jay Stark, and joining me always, my fearless co-host, Mr. Matt Snyder. <sighs> Thank you. We need it's to always nice when I don't have to do my own applause, so I really appreciate that. You're welcome. Yeah. You're welcome. It feels tacky when I do it. I know. So appreciate that. You're welcome. Yeah. I'm here for you. I got your back, You got man. me. You got I, me. I get you. Got a brotherhood here. Yeah, buddy. Well, I am seriously excited to be back with you guys once again, and, and I just got to ask, Matt, what's new and exciting? Well, we have the quad tensive coming up. Oh, the first ever. First ever quad Renatus quad ten. Why are we calling it the quad we, intensive? We have four instructors at this intensive, so it is four in one. This so is, this is like when you go to Costco and you get a sample <laughs> all of the divine, amazing <laughs> stuff that I always end up buying a case of. See, now that's not where I thought you were going with the Costco thing. What did thing. you think I was going to do? I thought you were going to say, when you go to Costco because you need a thing of napkins and $400 later, you walk out with 50 gallons of mayonnaise. Well, I think that that's always the hope is that people <laughs> will, they will walk in for the quad tensive and they will come out with the epics combo. Yes. Yes. That's yes. what we want. So we buy our uh, education, on a, dang it. <laughs> that's that's <laughs> it right there. Do, you know, just everybody just put your pen down. You're good to go right there. So so a typical intensive, we have one instructor that comes out and does a preview of the content that they share in the Renatus education. Yes. And this Saturday, we have a quad tensive, which Matt just explained means we don't have one, not two, not three, but four instructors coming out to share just a snip of their education. So each one of them is going to take about an hour and a half to go through some of their content. And then the day will not only be, be hosted by, but also wrapped by Mr. Bob Snyder, the founder and CEO of Renatus. Now, What's the best part about this? I mean, a quad tensive is crazy awesome. What's the best part? Well, first of all, the best part is is that you totally just gave all of the context to the jokes that I just skimmed. I skimmed right over all that context and went straight for it. And probably nobody understood what I was talking about. Thank you for all those pertinent details about what a <laughs> what a quad tensive is. I really appreciate that because nobody probably knew. So yes, yes, best best part. Of the quad tensive? Yeah, buddy. Uh, my dad. Well, yes. I'm a little and, biased, though. And it is 100% free, which means that any yeah, that, ICM- that part, that part also is cool. Any ICM Whatever. anywhere anywhere can go into their Helios account, go to the calendar, look for this Saturday, register for the event. Now we're going to have we're going to have a few people live here in the studio, yes, we but will. we're going to have a lot more people online live with us. Yep. Now, now if I have guests that I'd like to invite to the Quad Tensive, mm -hmm. how do I go about that? You need to go to the calendar and register them under the Corporate Intensive. I think it was created by Angie or does uh, yep. it say your name? No, on? I'm pretty sure it's Angie's name. Okay, so one. look for Angie Perkins, but uh, yes, it's the corporate intensive that is on the calendar. You need to go there and register your guests so you can gain protection. Yep. Right. We always, we always like that you like yep. protection. So, uh, make sure you do that. So what happens when, when I register my guest, how do they get access to the quad tensive? They get their own Helios. So they actually need to go in. And I think right now, is it still say forgot password? Like yeah, it does. That. We need to update the language on but, that. And so just just prepare your people that it's going to say forgot password, even if they've never created an account before. Yeah. And so so just say, yeah, you know, we're working on updating the language. Just click on the forgot password button, though. And what will happen is that it will send you a temporary password uh, so that you can log into your account. Yeah. So when you register them, they then have a Helios account. They just need to go to Helios and hit forgot password. It will email them. Yep. Uh, you know, uh, yeah. And, and so what they'll do is they just log into their Helios account. They go under the education tab and hit live education. Yes. And the quad tensive will be broadcast there. Now, if you guys had a chance to check out the national conference, which, you know, I'm assuming most of you did, but uh, it was, it was 
awesome. And the broadcast quality was incredible. And and that's what's going to be uh, – that's what you can expect this Saturday coming to you live from the Renatus Corporate Studio. Yep. So register your guests, get registered, and we are getting started at 9 a.m. sharp Mountain on time. Saturday. Mountain There's, time. There has, I think, been some issues or questions <clears throat> surrounding that in the past where people there didn't has know it was mountain time. It is mountain time, which is also what Utah is on. Which so. means if you're on Google the it. East Coast, we're getting started at 11 a.m. Yeah. If you're in Central, then we're getting started at 10 a.m. But if there's ever any question, see, what I would do is what time is it in Utah? Just type that in into Google, and it will tell you, and that's how you know. Oh, well, there you go. See, yeah. you're, you're not just another pretty face. Yeah. Yep, yep. You got mad talent right there. I can Google. Yeah, I can Google. I'm going to put that on my list of skills now. <laughs> that needs to be a bumper sticker. <laughs> I can Google. Oh, man, I tell you what. The Quadtensive is going to be an incredible opportunity for you to bring your guests live, give them a real in-depth preview of the education, and then have an opportunity to have have an indirect conversation with Bob Snyder. Bob Snyder is going to be doing the the close, the, the, the wrap-up at the end of the day, and it's going to be incredible. We went through some of the information today, and it's going to be incredible. Now, here's one thing that I, I don't know that we share often enough. And that is that that Renatus is led and guided by the morals and ethics of Mr. Bob Snyder. Now, I've been working with him for over a decade. I've been with him for more than 10 years, and he has never disappointed me. In fact, he continues to impress me, not only with his his moral and ethical center, but also on his his commitment to ensuring that the company takes every step to protect the interests of every single customer. He's always looking at how will this decision affect the customer and then he protects the customer first and he's had this this amazing ability to continually increase the opportunity while not increasing the price you know if you've purchased the education once and qualified for that complimentary lifetime access as that education expands as classes are added or refreshed they're always there for you oh yeah <laughs> um Oh, when I got here in 20 December, it was December of 2014. Yep. Uh, I believe that there was like 50, 57 or something total classes in the essentials and the extreme plus combo. Those same people who own the extreme plus combo with complimentary lifetime access now enjoy like 70 something classes. Is that right? Well, we've got the profits profits mixed in there as well. I ought to go back and every time I count, there's more because yeah. we keep adding classes. Yeah. So it's yep. And more and more classes, but that doesn't even count the number of classes that have been refreshed. Yeah. Right? Oh yeah. Yeah. And redone or augmented, if you will, like yeah. Kohler's where he's got the update. Yeah. And, and like we, that, so. we took, um, we took a few things from, uh, trying to think of whose class was it that we did the update on where instead of reshooting the whole class we added a new section to it where they were walking through a couple more options a couple more um examples oh, i can't remember who that was we got a lot of classes <clears throat> we do we have a ton of content and our content is top tier we have the best content creation team in the world well and we don't just pick anybody to instruct oh no so. No, the instructors are, they're incredible. And they're incredible not because they are the most well-spoken presenters of all time. They're incredible because they make their full-time living doing what they're teaching about. Yeah. So they're going to give you a real-world perspective on exactly how to go about these different transactions, things to look out for, things to prepare for, make sure that you've got this team in place. Ah, it's just awesome. We're obviously raving fans, but after the quad tensive, if you're not already, you will be too. Yeah, buddy. Big believer. It's going to be awesome. So get registered for the Quantensive. There's no cost, and it will be broadcast live to you through Helios. Oh, and one more thing. We are going to be sending a flyer out later today uh, in the form of an email. So I'm going to be sending an email to the entire Renatus ICM core yes. that will give you a flyer for the Quantensive that you can use to then invite all of your friends and make sure that they're all getting, uh, getting the invite and opportunity to take part with us. Cool. And the recording will not be available afterward. We always get asked that question. Yeah, no recording. Yeah, I love yeah. I love that our Gotta people are there. so 
are so motivated that they really are looking to to have access long term. But that's not what these intensives are for. These intensives are live meetings yep. that we want people to attend and then benefit from right then. 100 percent. 100 percent. Should we bring our guest out? Should we bring our dude? I tell you what, we are lucky to be joined by one of the very best best marketers inside of Renatus. Yes. He yes. is incredible. In fact, I dare say he may just be the very best. And to back it up, he has a couple of trophies that Renatus has. We created an entire new category just so we could put a pretty bow around the amazing example that this marketer has set for us. You want to announce him? Welcome to the podcast, Nate Lambert. Woohoo! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh man! What's so, up, brother? Hey, Nate hey, Lambert. Glad to be with you. You are a two-time back-to-back Donnelly Freedom Award winner, which means that you are the highest personal producer in the company twice yeah twice two times man that is pretty amazing yeah i thought you were talking about the in a month award like we oh well company. yeah i mean you're setting records on that year over year over year now <laughs> yep nate's not uh, typical <laughs> yeah these results are not typical i feel like we need to have a little disclaimer i know across the beep, bottom beep, beep. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you are as amazing as Nate Lambert. <laughs> right. Oh, Nate, I know that uh, this last year has been an opportunity for a lot of ICMs to really evaluate how it is that they're going out there and reaching the their audience. So tell us a little bit about how you have pivoted in the last year and about the things that you do to get the leads coming to you. Yeah, that's a that's a great question because you know I I was lucky in that when the pandemic hit, I had already moved my business online like two years previous, so I had a lot of experience closing people online, and I think a lot of it is just what Steve Larson taught in when he came out for nationals is make noise, right? You got to get out there and you got to say stuff on social media. Um, cause you got to build a following, you got to get people interested in, in, in who you are as a person, right? It's people don't care that much about what you're selling, but they want to know who you are. And so I think being bold and starting a social media account and, and then, you know, posting content, I, and, and I'm not saying content of like, Hey, come to this meeting, join this webinar, because people don't really like to hear that stuff. They like to hear nuggets. They like to hear what are you learning about? What results have you achieved? What have you accomplished since you joined or not? Or people you know, what have they accomplished hmm. since joining or not? So what if what if uh, what if you're brand new and you really haven't accomplished anything? So yeah, that that's when you point to other people in in the Renatus community that are that are doing big things and say, hey, or you watch a class and you say, hey, I just learned that. Yeah, that's kind of that's kind of what I was thinking, right? Is is you know, hey, I just learned how to whatever to to find this property or how do I how do you know, whatever kind of nugget you pulled from the class. Yeah, and of course. Of course, there's other stories. That's great. So, yeah. So uh, yeah, just show what a big impact it can have, right? I mean, hey, you had a big opportunity this weekend with this with this big quad quad intensive quad intensive. Yeah. Yes. You know, I mean, huge, huge uh, opportunity to discuss what you're what you learn. What are some of your yeah. biggest takeaways? And um, but then again, you you don't want to just be someone who's talking about business all the time you want to be sharing your your life you want to be sharing what you're learning in in your life and and how that's you know how you're trying to have a good time with your family how to stay in shape all the good good stuff that you want to 
do to be a balanced person. You want to talk about those things too so that people don't just think, oh, this person's just trying to sell me something, right? That's so, not what you want. Yeah, I, I love that. I've, I'm worried – or I'm not worried. I was just thinking about <clears> – <throat> The journey, right? So many of us are afraid to be vulnerable and authentic in discussing some of the trials, journeys, the different things that we're overcoming and the things that we're moving through. And yet that's so much of what our life is. And in fact, a lot of people don't like social media because it only gives you like the very best from people's lives rather than that authentic nitty gritty, you know, day to day grind that a lot of people go through. Yeah. So how do you how do you continue to show progress and be authentic and be, you know, regularly sharing on, on a social media? Yeah, that's a great question. I mean, I, so much of it, you're right, is about authenticity. I mean, many of you know that I just went through a divorce. It was the most gut, gut wrenching thing of my life. Right. But I've been open even about that. I've been sharing my feelings, being vulnerable. So it's just kind of like, you want to be posting about stuff that's top of mind, stuff that's near and dear to your heart. Take a, take a dip into being vulnerable and, and sharing your true feelings. People love that kind of stuff because everyone's got hard things they're going through. Mm. And when you can be vulnerable and, and, and share stuff like that, it's, it's great. And I just try and, you know, share, you know, I'll go to house, I'll go to my houses that I'm working on and take videos before and after pictures if you don't have a house, you could find someone in your community and, and go and interview them in the house that they're flipping and ask them to tell about it, right? I mean, so there's there's so many ways you can do to, to take action and show people, hey, here's here's what's going on and here's how you can make some sweet cash um, and just do it regular. Give some true value. Don't say anything about prices or, hey, book a, an appointment with me. Just literally just be genuinely wanting to share incredible information that it's going to help people to succeed at a higher level. Oh man. I love that. Dude, we could so, end the podcast there. That was gold. <laughs> I don't want to end the podcast. Well, no, there. I don't want to. I'm just saying we could, if we wanted to, I, but One I of, yeah, it's okay. We don't have to. All right. Yeah. But I was, you know, what I got from that though, a couple of things you said, be a well-rounded person incredibly difficult for me <laughs> and be vulnerable yeah <laughs> which is easy when i'm face to face with somebody for me it's really hard to do online so a couple of things i know i gotta work on and, and uh and be authentic right yeah be authentic you don't, you don't that's what i think to... of as vulnerability i definitely I, yeah, but you're right you're right yeah because you don't have, have to, to sit there and and dig everything out of the closet to say oh yeah let me let me just air everything out here. Here's where the bodies are buried. But uh, but even talking about day to day struggles, you know, yeah, uh, about raising kids or about just being an adult and having responsibilities and accountabilities and yeah, you know, going going through that kind of stuff. But so Nate, help me out. If you had if you had somebody that had never been on social media before, where would you tell them to get started? I think Facebook. Facebook is the best. I think the best platform because you can actually talk, you can write some stuff, right? I mean, um, so I, I'd say start there. Start on Facebook. Do you have a TikTok account, Nate? I don't either. I just wondered. TikTok really goes after, you know, younger crowds and it's yeah. kind of like you only have 15 seconds to say something. and Yeah. I just have never gotten into TikTok. You don't have to be the master of everything. Just just yeah. jump in. All right. So if, if you're into Instagram, maybe start there, right? I mean, yeah. especially if you're a younger person and you like to just show images rather than write stuff. For me, I'm not really that great at, you know, photography, so I'm more into writing, so maybe that's why I find more of a niche with Facebook. Gotcha. So if somebody's just getting started with Facebook, and uh, and they don't have any friends or whatever. How would they go about, you know, attracting the right kind of attention? That's a great question. I mean, so I would say, you know, join some groups. Join some groups that you're interested in. Things like I just joined a hikers group. I'm going on a hike tonight, right? And so you might meet some people in that group and friend request them. You might go to some real estate investor associations in your area. 
they often have groups online, friend request those people. I mean, just start friend requesting people that, that are in different groups, especially groups that are entrepreneurial groups. Yeah. Those are great groups to target because people who, you know, want to be entrepreneurs also want to be real estate investors as well. Oh man. Love that. I love that. So, so you said that two years ago you were able to move your business online. If you could, could talk to you two years ago, if you could have a conversation today with, with you two years ago, going Actually, through the, I think three, you were saying three? two years before the pandemic, right? Okay. Yeah, so, so sorry. Three, three, years, years, three ago. years ago, as you were getting started moving everything online, if you could talk to that guy right now, what would you tell him? What would be your one, one like juiciest piece of advice? Well, I'd probably, <laughs> I'd probably say load up on flips at the beginning of the pandemic. Cause you're going to cash out big, <laughs> <laughs> right? Holy I got smokes. a little nervous and I just started, I mean, I'm glad I bought rentals, but I, I got a little nervous and thinking the market was going to crash and then it went big. So, uh, but no, I, I would say though, um, I, I, speaking of that, I would tell myself, Hey, don't worry so much about the pandemic. I got so scared and nervous and and it turns out I made even more 2020 than I did in 19, you know? So, um, so I would just say, boy, I mean, I, I don't, I don't really go to have to go to live events anymore. I still like to go to stuff like that to support and help, but I would just go back and tell myself, Hey, um, this is the best way. And it all starts with building a relationship, right? Because, especially when you're selling a $23,000 package. And that's what I always say. That's what I always say is the, is the price, 23000 I only sell Epic's combos, right? So, you know, when you're selling that big of a package, you need to build a relationship with the person. I don't even honestly like talking to someone who's just met me or just started following me because I feel like they don't, I don't have that trust with them yet. So I would tell myself, hey, Bill, it's all about building relationships. Do your best to build a relationship as quickly and effectively as you can on social media. I'm using, here's the funny thing, guys. I'm using the same strategies that I used to sell combos now to find a, a new wife, right? Like, it's a funnel, <laughs> right? <laughs> all jokes aside, it is the same process, is it not? You're going through the courting process in eventually marriage, of course, or dating, right? And you're going through the courting process with prospects. It's just a business courting process, I will. right? It so. Is. I will never forget. So I will never forget when Bob did that training where he where he uh, related real estate to relationships and he talks about all of the different kinds of relationships and that was a that was man we need to pull those slides and put them up those those were those were those hilarious were right that was so funny. yeah it was good no, but here's what I love about social media guys is you get a chance to to you know I'm building a relationship with thousands of people simultaneously and you know it's kind of a one-way relationship but i get to the point where when they get on the phone with me they're like am i talking to nate lambert i mean it's just like a little bit of star power in their eyes and because of that it's a lot easier for them to plunk down twenty three thousand because they're like hey i know you i like you i've seen that you're not just about money that you believe in god and that you care a lot about your family Right. So it's like they get to know me first and then they decide, hey, I, I like this and I want, you know, I want some of what you're doing. Whatever you're doing is working. Yeah. And I want a piece of that. So let, let me ask you this question, because, Nate, you are obviously one heck of a salesman. You are authentic. You're you're present, um, which is, in my estimation, just a huge talent and skill that a lot of people are lacking in today's day and age. So why, why did you pick or why do you stay with Renatus? Oh boy. That's a, that's a great question. I mean, I, I could probably do a lot of this stuff myself, but Renatus has just done it better than I could ever imagine trying to reinvent the wheel in the kind of amazing way Renatus has done it. And they're so generous with their compensation that I'm like, Hey, if I tried to start my own company, I'd be spending probably more than that, like 
you know, getting all the customer support and glasses and la 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 la. This, you guys have done it so dang well. Why would I ever want to leave? Right? It's like, and and I get I get to help people in an amazing way, but I don't have to deal with all the stuff that you guys are doing. Such an amazing job being trained and skilled in that area. So I just, uh, I love. Uh, I, I can't imagine ever ever leaving or not because I just feel like you guys do such a great job, and I love. I love the the synergy that we have. Oh, I completely agree. And you, you're awesome. And being able to work with you, and I, I know. So, uh, you and I talk offline a little bit, and I know you talk with Matt a little bit as well. And and I just love that you are the same guy, whether it's one on one or on a stage in front of a group, or even here on this broadcast. You're the same person. You're authentic. You're kind. You're loving, and it's not. It's not any wonder that your personality and your your authenticity just attracts people to you that's that you're awesome and i'm super super proud to be associated with you through renatus thanks thanks so much ditto D- ditto really you're just gonna try to piggyback on top of that capital d i wholeheartedly agree with that <laughs> capital d well i, I know yeah. that we're uh that we're we're pretty much out of time, but I want to say thank you so much for for being here today and for sharing with us. I can't wait to follow up with you in six months and see how you are just crushing it. What's your what's your next business goal? My next business goal is actually I'm starting a real estate fund. I'm moving into commercial real estate. So that's gonna be exciting. And I'm gonna sell a lot of combos on the way. I really want to hit I want to hit seven figures this year in marketing. So that's it's oh, gonna nice. be a big deal. I love it. That's seven. Seven figures. That's I mean. seven. Dude, that I can't wait to see you do it. There it's so funny because every time that you you make a uh you call your shot, you know, kind of like Babe Ruth back in the day. Call your shot. I have not yet seen you miss. So I can't wait to see what you create, my friend. That's awesome. Thanks so much for being with us today on the Renatus Jam. I want to give a special shout out and thanks to our content crew, including but not limited to Mr. Aaron Peterson, who's our producer. Matt, you're awesome, man. Thank you, Jay. Thank you, Nate. You rock, man. Yeah. All right, everybody. We will catch up with you live again next week. Don't forget between now and then. The thing that makes Renatus truly rock is the people that are associated with it. Thanks, everybody. Renatus rocks. Ditto.